so. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Jamcast is back, everybody. We're totally doing it in a week this time. It's amazing. Yeah, we did. It's yeah. perfect. Can we you clap? Let's clap. did it this time. Oh, God. I'm going to take a drink of my soda real quick. What is that? Wait, hold on. That's Coca-Cola and not Pepsi. Are we going to have this argument? I think we already know that Coca-Cola is way better than Pepsi. I think we all know that you're a disappointment to Pepsi Man. No, Pepsi Man sucks. You said you you listened to the song and you said it was great. Yeah. Everyone found yeah. me out. Everyone knows I'm a piece of shit now. I listened to the Pepsi Man song and I like it. You loved it because it's stupid. the best song ever made. It's so fucking stupid. Why is it so goddamn good? God Shit. It's because it's got those keyboards and that saxophone solo. And that saxophone solo, yeah. It's really good. And those, and not that sax solo, but multiple sax solos. I know. Why is the most amount of effort put into the stupidest of things in video games? Because. No. Why do you put effort into things that matter? This is going to be retarded, isn't it? This whole it's podcast. It's going to be the most retarded. Didn't you say there was nothing that happened this week? Yeah, there wasn't much, if you want to start with the list. If yeah. You start with your week. What have you been up yeah, to? Yeah, well, here's what I did with my week. I got smashed, finally. Sick. Sick. Amazing. Yeah. I'll have to play again as soon as this is over. Yeah. It would be optimal, actually, because I still don't have internet for... Uh, I still can't hook up my 3DS to the college's internet. How did you get it? Uh, I'm just at my house. Oh. oh. Neat. Yeah. <sighs> More soda. Uh, what did I do with my week? Pretty much nothing. I listened to a lot of Cannibal Corpse. That's about it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I really like Cannibal Corpse. That's that's amazing. I think they're great. Because they're amazing. Other you know who's that, better though? Deicide. I uh, checked them out this week, and goddamn. I will check them out, but on the side, I've been listening to also this other band called Cannabis Corpse, which is a yeah, band, which is totally not Cannibal Corpse, but it's kind of Cannibal Corpse. Are they a cover band, or are they just another death metal band? They're another death metal band, but they're just called Cannabis Corpse. Because. Just because. Just because. But yeah, Deicide is pretty good, because even though it's old school death metal, it sounds super modern. <clears throat> like, if it weren't for the vocals not entirely being a, like, a full-on death growl, like, you know, because early death metal... Like, only Cannibal Corpse was doing actual real death growls at the time. Yeah. But yeah, so these guy, the album I listened to was called Legion. It came out in 92. And it sounds, if it weren't for the vocals, it sounds like it could have came out in like 2004. Hmm. Just because of how technical it is. It's called Deicide, right? Yes. You don't have to go listen to that. You know what? We should just go and plug DJ and just listen to a bunch of shit after this. Yeah. As soon as I'm done editing the cast, we'll go on. As so soon if, you're as... Listen, if you're listening to this, we're already been in the cast. You're, we've already been in plug DJ for a while, so whatever. Maybe. Oh, I should probably mention. Hello, YouTubers. This is our first like official gonna be on YouTube first podcast. Oh yeah, like the the last episode was meant to go on SoundCloud before. Everything fucked up. Yeah, I went to put it on SoundCloud, and they just blocked me. <coughs> well, they just blocked but me. Yeah, so. Me I couldn't get on. Yeah. So, hi, YouTube. We're here. Hi. We're going to play video games. Subscribe. Like the video. Comment. No, I don't want... I don't all want that all bullshit. That stupid. They know what to do. They know what to do. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. Our audience is uh, full of idiots. There's like I mean, three. There's like three people that listen to us. We have one subscriber. 
it's that guy from yeah. Kentucky. You just got one, and that's it. It's just that one guy, but he knows what he, he knows who he is. He knows what to do. I I trust him. Yeah. You go, one dude. <laughs> you're our biggest fan. You're you're our lead to our uh, JB and KG. Yes. We'll give you backstage passes and stuff to my bedroom, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, and then we'll steal your car. <laughs> I'll just steal the gas. I just need it. Yeah. So like you said, there's nothing that happened this week. It's been a super slow news week. Starting yeah. with starting with this, Smashing Pumpkins has a new single out. Eh? Uh, eh? No. Yeah. They're uh, like the Guns N' Roses of Alternative. I wouldn't go that far. I I'd go that far. The only album I like is Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness. Okay. I know. It, that's I, a stupid name for an album. I'm gonna, but I have a story on that later. Anyway, I didn't even listen to it, but from way back when on my old jams, um, Billy Corgan said that he would basically decide what's going to happen to Smashing Pumpkins next with the next two records. So okay. keep an eye out for that one, I guess. Smashing Pumpkins may just disappear. Awesome. No. Yeah, I'd be down for that. God. I remember back in high school when I was in charge of making the old uh, end credits videos, I used Smashing Pumpkins and they told me I couldn't use Smashing Pumpkins. Yeah, because they suck. No, they're great. Shut up. They're amazing. They're fine, at least. You never heard oh, zero. Oh, your taste is shut so up. shit. Damn it. You, you listen to Pepsi Man first, on purpose. I did, because I know that it's going to be cool. Well, retarded. You so, and your fucking Coke. So delicious. So on the next of uh, Who Cares on the list, uh, we have Mr. M. Shadows. Do you know who he is? Uh, no. He's the lead singer for Ben Stonefold. Okay. You know what he did? What? He made a video game. What? <laughs> yeah, he made a video game, um, a mobile game actually, called Hail to the King, Death Bat, based on his quote-unquote character, the skull with bat wings, that you stole yeah. from Overkill. Yeah. Not letting that one die. Quote-unquote character. God. Like, this is a Just like that shirt says, says, make your own fucking logo. <laughs> yeah. I need to get that. That just reminded me. Piece of art. Never mind. Um, I have a couple of wait what of the week. Um, Vinny Paul says that pickle juice is the ultimate hangover remedy. Okay. I don't drink. I wouldn't know. I know. I wouldn't know either. This is what I mean by slow news week. Seriously, nothing happened. There's no albums pretty much out, but it's like nothing. nothing. There is one thing that happened. On, like, Thursday. And it's it. really cool. What happened? Well, you see, there was a trailer. Or there was a Nintendo Direct that came out. Oh. All right. For Smash Brothers Wii U. I heard about that. Did not know that everything else happened. I think I know what you're talking about. I, You think I do? Because there's 8-Man Smash! Oh, my God. No. Yeah. God damn it. Fuck. crazy! I, I heard about that, I thought it was just a rumor, and I didn't want it to believe it. God damn it. Yeah, Fuck. it's amazing. No, it's not. Yes, it is. God, everything that's everything wrong with Smash. Everything is going... Just, they don't care anymore. They don't. They st- and I don't either, because that's amazing. God. What I actually like, heard... Just with that new Street Fighter 4 thing... We're making random bullshit. No, we're not going to balance it. Okay, this is for okay. fun. God. Yeah. And <laughs> along with that, we also got news of DLC characters. Yes. Like, Mewtwo oh, yeah. is free if you have both the 3DS and Wii U version. Hmm. That's actually made me want to buy a Wii U version. Yeah. You, you should. Because I'm going to. Everyone who's listening to the podcast, go buy a Wii U, because you can go get Bayonetta 2 right now. Yeah, and you can also get a wonderful 101. Which I heard is amazing, but I still haven't played it. I still need to play it. Yeah. And there's also, like, 
Uh, like, I heard that every Mario game, except for Super Luigi U, was good on the Wii U. <laughs> Super Luigi U, what a joke. Yeah. You want to it's, talk about- it's, it's the physics engine that just fucked that game up. Because I saw a playthrough of it. You might as well just, like, make Retarded Brother the game. Yeah. Like, the like if you see... Like, that game is supposed to play a lot differently because of the... Because the physics is different. It's very slippery, as I've been told. That's not something you want on a platformer. Yeah. No. And it's also been... The levels weren't really designed for four people or more. I mean, or just multiplayer. It was designed for single player. Great. Yeah. I really should buy a Wii U. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get a Wii U soon yeah. at some point. I don't know when, but soon. If I can get one fairly cheap, I'm gonna buy one. Mm. Yeah. yeah. But uh, what's next on my list? Because there's really shit. This is just a shit episode. Um, this this is the real shit cast. <laughs> no, every shit every shit cast two point Shitcast two point I like it. But yeah. <laughs> hey, you know who's gonna be at BlizzCon? What? Do you know who's gonna be at BlizzCon? I don't know what that is. Uh, Blizzard convention. I think it's the giant WoW convention. Oh. <laughs> you know uh, who's gonna be there? Ooh. Metallica. <laughs> How great would it be for Lars to come on stage and just say that he's a big WoW fan? That's what he. You know doing. what? That would be hilarious. <laughs> All of Metallica has been just playing WoW instead of making an album. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be great. Speaking of which, put it on the list. This it's is the second week in a row. Metallica not doing anything. What? So I put it on the list, but this is the second week in a row Metallica's been doing nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Continuing the counter. Two. 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 And then I really did not get anything. We have Paul Stanley saying that illegal music downloading is morally wrong and ethically wrong. Mm. Oh no, Paul Stanley, you made me feel bad. For half a second. Now I don't care anymore. Nobody cares. Who even yeah. are you? I mean, go on... We had this discussion. No, seriously, who is that? I don't know who he oh, is. Paul Stanley's from Kiss. <laughs> like, yeah. But uh, yeah. we talked about Kiss. it a little bit on that podcast that I didn't record by accident, but it's too easy to go and just not not necessarily download, but just listen to music anywhere for free now. Yeah. It's to the point where it's just, it's okay now. It's really just socially acceptable just to put your music on YouTube or something. Yeah. It really doesn't matter. Like, streaming is fine. There's nothing wrong with streaming. And there's also nothing wrong with connection errors. <laughs> Those connection errors are what make this podcast great. They are the staple of Grungy's Jamcast. It's a staple, all right. Staple yeah. You should just change, uh, the, like, the... Like the image for this, and just have like just a split in the middle, just yeah, like visual yeah. tearing, just distortion. Yeah. Yeah. Thankfully, you can do that because I do not know how to Photoshop, as you showed, as I showed you by my like thirty-second attempt at GIMP. Yeah. You have no clue. I have no idea. <laughs> what I was trying to do was like, uh, for whatever reason, I said math eat shit in one of my math classes, and I just wanted to make that look cool. But I did not make it look cool okay. at all. I I don't even know what the what the purpose of that was. It was I don't know. L- I like was, what I, was what was the thought process behind that creation? I found some tools in GIMP and I'm like, oh, I wonder what this does. So I started playing with it and now I had a monstrosity. Well, the first problem is that you're using GIMP. Yes. You know, you can get Photoshop. I know I can, but I don't want to pay for it because I'm cheap. Yeah, but here's the thing. With the new Creative Cloud, you can get Photoshop for just $9.99 a month. Still. Yeah. I don't 
I want to avoid not paying for it just because I'm I know I'm not going to use it except for stupid bullshit like this. Yeah. I wonder how many wrestling references I can make. How many ref How many wrestling references can you make that just go over my head? I sure as hell don't want wrestling. That's gonna be the the next counter. That's gonna be the next counter. Just yeah. Wrestling references. Yes. Or connection errors. Wrestling connection errors. <laughs> Fucking like Hulk Hogan tries to do a, the body slam and just misses after because of distortion. Yes. Uh, n- n- it's like the Undertaker goes for a choke slam and then he just freezes. <laughs> Stupid. And the guy is just kind of stuck there, just trying to get out of it. God. Uh, what's next? What is next? Well, since we're only 16 minutes in, let's go to the, our main discussion, which was, I think it was supposed to be something about the weird subgenres, but I have something way better. What you got? So, shit, dropped something. Did you follow the link that I posted on Tumblr a little while ago to a blog called That's Not Metal.com? Yes, I did. How did I you read that? the article about Gent. I don't even know what Gent is. Neither do I, but if you go read the other guy's articles, he is a great man. He knows, he is fucking hilarious. Read every bit of his articles and you will just know that he's a great dude. Uh, I don't think his blog is going to get updated anymore, but... Uh, yeah, I have... it, he said something about ending it somewhere. Yeah. Like, on the, I think it's on the logo on the top, it just says, That's not metal, he's dead. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, dude. I wish I found out it, about your blog sooner. That'd be, that'd be cool. It's always the worst when you find a new a new thing, like this whole new website, and then when, and but it's just already dead. You know, yeah. like Kenshiro just went up to it uh, and just pushed his thumbs into the website's head. Pretty much. So. Let's have a little discussion about something. You know, this we call it. Uh, is this metal? So I have a couple of topics here, and we're going to decide whether or not we can do these things as metalheads. Okay. So let's start with the easy ones. Band shirts that have color on them. What do you mean? I'm talking about those shirts that you see in Hot Topic that look like I don't know, a baby that was just eating fruit roll-ups, just vomited on it. Okay. I'm trying to think of like bands that have like a I don't know Blood on the Dance Floor, Devil Wears Prada, those Ew. shirts. That's nasty. No, don't wear those. Don't wear those. First yeah, of all, you're wearing you, the bands you are wearing them. Just bad. Don't yeah, problem, don't do yeah. it. Problem number one: don't go listen to those guys. If you're listening to them and you're listening to this podcast, do yourself a favor and close this podcast. I don't yes. want you to listen unsubscribe. to us. Actually, don't, un- don't unsubscribe. No. If anything, unsubscribe and then throw your computer out the window. Yes. Next. How about band logos that are un... 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 <laughs> un, 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 un... What? Unidentifiable. Sure. That's fine. I love it. I think it's fucking stupid, actually. I think it's great. Look, fucking Dying Fetus just has too much shit going on in their logo, okay? No, it doesn't. Yeah, I know. Yeah. No, they really don't. Dying Fetus's logo is just Impact. Like, it's just Dying Fetus written out in Impact. Was it? Yeah. Then where did I see? Maybe it wasn't even Dying Fetus, but there are so many bands that just have shit going on in their logo. Yeah. One of the, one of the things that he posted was some band, I think it was called, like, clockwork or something like that but all their logo looked like was a big stick like a tree yeah no that's retarded i remember seeing a band logo that was literally the most unreadable thing ever it would it looked just like vomit with holes in it and you were supposed to find letters in it and i couldn't i found a c and that was it my rule of thumb is that if your band logo, band name, 
looks like one of those pictures that you have to like stare at for a while until a picture appears. I'm probably mm. not going to like it. Say what you will about death metal and black metal logos, but you have to admire their appreciation for symmetry. Yes, fair enough. Yeah. Like I mean, when you can make a V look identical to an R, you're doing stuff pr- pretty well. You've got some uh, like art designer working for you. You're nice. Yeah. What's next? Uh, how about something interesting? Uh, rating an album with an album review. Say you give an album a review, and then do you have to stack a, or tack a number onto it? Yeah. No. I, I, I can't. I don't think so. I'm cool with it. I know even I do it. I do it a lot on my Tumblr page, but I don't like it. I feel like just sticking a number with it just sticks it too hard. See, that's the thing about numbers. Is that we've gotten so used to, like, like a grading system in schools that, like, number things are kind of messed up. Like, I want to say this album is amazing, but it's not the best album I've ever heard. I might give it, like, an 8, but hold on. In, in like, schools, an 8 would mean an 80, and failing is 65, you know? Yeah. And so that's just, that doesn't make sense. So it doesn't feel right to give it an 8, you know? That's why, like, I try to base, like, rating systems as 50, as 5 being neutral, you know? It's, eh, whatever, you know? All right. Well, I try not to. I I know I do it a lot, like I said, but I don't like it when I do it because... Because it's easy. easy. It's too easy. It's easy to put a number on things. Even I, my rating's personal rating system is that pretty much anything that is good, I would probably give you a seven. Fair enough. Yeah. Anything better than that's an eight, but if you excite me, you'll get a ten, I guess. But ten just it just feels so hollow. It just doesn't really matter. I feel, I should uh, not do it. Yeah. I well, know. I rarely give things a ten, unless it's like Rust and Peace, you know, the greatest metal album ever made. Mm-hmm. You can't tell me I'm wrong about that. <laughs> oh, I can tell you something, but never mind. Let's move on. You can tell me nothing because oh, there is no album better than Rust in Peace. All right, how about that guy that thinks that he's more metal than you? Oh yeah, that song. No, not just that song. Just the concept of that guy. Oh yeah, that guy's a dude. That guy's a huge douche. Yeah. So if let me get, let me put this in terms for metal non metalheads to understand. If you think that you are better than us because of whatever band you listen to, you are a chode. You're a huge yeah. chode. And if you're a metalhead and you've done that to someone in the past twenty four hours, do yourself a favor and throw your computer out the window. Yeah. Take a screw. That guy's a to doof. It. If we you do that, that, you are an asshole. By the way, gr- uh, by the way, Eric. You suck. I mean, what what's with all that punk you listen to? Punk is great. It's garbage, and yeah, you man. therefore are garbage as well. No, it's great. You don't listen to the Dead Kennedys or the Sex Pistols at all? No. No? Why not? Because. Did you like the Megadeth cover of uh, Anarchy? No. No? Okay, I want to... Are, are we done with this current discussion? Not just right that. now. Uh, okay, well, I, I'm just gonna just throw a stick in there. What is the appeal of punk? I want to know this. What I, is the actual reason that people listen to punk? Because you know, I can't wrap my head around it. Even I can't really give you an answer. I just think it sounds good. I I would just like. I, I'm one that really enjoys just great musicianship, and I can't hear great musicianship in something so simple as punk. 
you know. I, find it, I just find it interesting that they managed to reach such an audience with such simple, simple melodies and simple strings. I guess. So time for editing. <laughs> That's where the power of editing comes. Yeah, from. the fir the first real edit that we'll make. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Well, All right. So where were we? Um, punk. Okay. So yeah, punk sucks. I don't think it sucks. I don't I think I it's don't. Not what about crossover music, Dad? Well, crossover music I like because it's still very, it still can be a very technical genre. Yeah. You know? All right. I guess. I really don't have an answer to why I like punk. Really, I just do. I can listen to No Effects all day, and it's great. What about What about the Misfits? Uh, the Misfits. I enjoy just because of Danzig and just the charm of their lyrics. Nah. It's... When I mean, you think about it, the Misfits are like the lowest con the common denominator of all punk. A lot of it yeah, is just garbage. Are. I mean, if you think about it, the Misfits... They're... I... I like, their music is more close to, like like, old-school, like, 50s rock than it is to, like, the punk of the time, you yeah. know? Just, I think just Danzig. Danzig's always been a weirdo and always needed to be weird. Yeah. Just him being It's weird. really just Danzig. That It's really just Danzig. <laughs> no. Danzig's great. I like the Misfits more than I do Danzig. The Misfox? Misfox. I like the Misfits more than I do Danzig. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Danzig's also great because hmm. Danzig's it's it's Danzig. Well, like, how can you not like, like Danzig? I don't know. I just find him obnoxious that he after he left the Misfits. It's never been the same. I I do not think so. I think he's great. Mother is a great song, as well as Twist of Cain. God damn it, Mother is a great song. It is a great song. It's like Mother and Twisted Cane is all I enjoy. The rest of it's just kind of eh. Well, maybe Doom Metal just is not for you. Maybe it's not. I don't know. God. I should listen to more Black Sabbath. Now that I think about it. Anyway. Anyway. So here's something. Uh, since you don't really have a car, having your mom drive you to metal shows. Yes or no? Uh, no. <laughs> the article on this one was actually great. It wasn't even, like, an objective article. It was just him reciting a conversation with him and his mom when he was a child. And her, his mom's reaction to everything that he is talking about is the most cringeworthy thing I have ever seen. Just, oh, boy. Oh, it's worth reading. It's is amazing. she a soccer mom? Basically. Hmm. Okay. It's a phone call, and she's like, oh, I'm in the middle of traffic. Can you bring your brother with you to the show? It's like, no, if you didn't want to buy concert tickets without me, well, then you shouldn't have bring your brother, whatever. It's the most just cringe worth thing I have ever seen in my entire life. I can imagine. Yeah. Thank God I have a car, even if it's a shitty car. Yeah. God. Well, that's about all I got. Yeah, that's really, because really nothing really happened this week. No. Uh, <laughs> we can talk about more of what's coming up on the channel. I guess. Let's <laughs> pad this out for another half hour. Uh, faster we get this over with, faster I can edit it, whatever. Yeah. Um, no. There is something I did this week also that I forgot to mention. Uh, I, I'm an artist. I know, I don't know if people know this, but I make drawings. I was the one that made the, the artwork for this podcast. Yeah. yeah. And I decided, like, fuck the burn tool. Fuck the dodge tool. That's lazy. 
And so I actually tried some real shading techniques. I saw Man. that, but I don't understand art in the slightest, so I just like, eh, that looks fine. Yeah. But before my drawings, even with the shading, used to look super flat. But now it's real. It looks better because I basically just ripped off Plague of Gripes. Yeah. It's best to, to at least try and rip off someone because at least then you're ruining something. Yeah. And also because he made the, all those videos, so I know exactly how he makes his art. You know? Destroy Beauty so it's easier to rip him off. It's, it's like, it's as if uh, Tom Martin and Lich King just made a video and just like, this is how we make our rips. And if I just yeah. happen to take them. And, and as well, with you speak of that. Uh, you said that the Lich King podcast wasn't that great. Well, I disagree. I started listening to it, and I think it's pretty good. Well, I listened to, like, the first 15 minutes. I didn't really listen to the whole thing. Oh, well. Uh, I'm on episode 7 so far. Hmm. I think that it's pretty hilarious. I have to give it a better listen than what I did last time, because all I did was I just saw the head. I just first... Ugh, realize that they had a podcast. Yeah, they had this. They had this whole segment that lasted, that went on for like two episodes. That was just Brian doesn't know movies, and so he tries to explain the plot of things that he hasn't seen. <laughs> what? Yeah, that sounds stupid, but I like it. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to listen to the Lich Cast. Yes, the Lich Cast. Great. Podcast Mosh. <laughs> Podcast Mosh is amazing. I don't care what anyone says. Yeah. I would rather listen to that rather than Combat Mosh. No, no, you wouldn't. No, I wouldn't, but still. I That'd be my ringtone. I'd love it. Yes. Just freak people out. Okay, first it sounded weird, now it's talking about podcasts, and now it's moshing. What? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Indeed. But... That's what, that reminds me. This is another non-story, but uh, people are, at least uh, DRI fans, are still pissed off at Lich King for ripping off their album. Oh, who cares? Exactly, who cares? By the way, did you hear about Fair Use? Uh, who? Fair Use. The concept of Fair Use. Oh, fair yeah. Use. Yeah, Fair Use. Who? I thought you said, like, Bear... <laughs> I thought you said Barry Hughes, and I was like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> Barry Hughes and Lich King coming together for the first time. Yes. To play Hot for Teacher by Van Halen. Yes! Just the biggest clusterfuck music I've ever seen. Yeah. That'd be great. Wait, is Barry Hughes an actual person that I don't know about? I think so. <laughs> He's like a, um, a swing artist or something. Some that sounds terrible. like the name of a swing artist. Brian Hughes. I like it. I like it. Yeah. So, so yeah, fair use is, is yeah, you can do things. It's okay. <sighs> Whatever Barry Hughes, you, you're weirdo. At least he's not like Kenny G or Gigi Allen. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, imagine if Gigi Allen and Lich King did a song together. I would that wouldn't happen. No, it would not happen. But you know what? It would be awesome. Wait, no, isn't G.G. Allen dead? Well, yeah, but... <laughs> but if they were happened to be at the same period in time, it'd be great. When did he even die? Wasn't it, like, 92 or something? I don't even know. Mm. Wait, that's why Kurt Cobain killed himself, because he couldn't see G.G. Allen. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> the reason. It had nothing to do with Courtney Love just being a huge bitch. Don't even get into that. God damn it. What are these dirty You and your with? conspiracy theories. Courtney Love did something to Kurt Cobain. Courtney Love killed Kurt Cobain. You heard it here first. From the podcast. This guy. <laughs> yeah. I will send this... you the link to the website that shows all this and what proves why. Aliens. Amazing. Aliens did it. No, 
It was cocaine, actually. He didn't have enough Illuminati cocaine. Illuminati killed Kurt Cobain. He had so much heroin in him that he couldn't lift his shotgun. Just saying. Ah, uh, you. Yes. You're crazy. No. You've got issues with your main, with your brain. You're insane in the membrane. No. Yes, you are. You're a Cypress Hill song. Insane in the membrane. You're a Dead Kennedy song because you don't like Dead Kennedys. I don't know. Well, what, what song is it? I don't know. Kill the Poor. That comes to mind. Okay. I'll kill anyone. <laughs> as long as you pay me. Yeah. God. Killing is my business. And business is good. You happy about that? You proud of that? Yeah, I, I love referencing Megadeth. Yeah. Because they're the best band. One of these days, we got to have just a huge argument over which of the big four debuts was better. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's it's killing is my business. Ha, uh, this is going to be a great discussion next week. Well, why not this week? I mean, we still need to pad out for time. Nah, yeah, four minutes is fine. Fine. Next All week. right. So what's... What are you going to be looking forward to? Well, well I, I guess I'm going to check out that Dia side, first of all. Uh, next, I have to edit this goddamn podcast, which will be easy. And third, I got some video ideas coming up, and I'm actually scripting and trying to record them. Sweet. Yeah. I might be doing some reviews, too. I don't know what I'm Thinking I might start doing Queensryche, maybe? Just because I've been listening to them a lot lately. Alright. Yeah. I think I might be doing a retrospective series. Yeah. I haven't gotten that video, though. I'm still working on my earlier videos. I still have to make the trailer video for the site, or channel. Yeah, you still got to do that. For the site. <laughs> the site. We're not rich people. We can't afford a website. You know what our site is? 4chan.org slash B. Yeah, no. B yeah. is cancer. No, you'll find it you'll find us there eventually. He used to be good. Well, you'll find me there at least. I tend to lurk there. Yeah. I've been actually going on 4chan a lot more lately. I know. Just because I've had nothing to do really. You know, when everything is just when you've spent too much time just, you know, masturbating and just watching horror movies, what's left? You can 4chan. Yeah. Sometimes Mas you can do both. Masturbate, watch your horror movies, and go to 4chan. Yeah. That's a that's a day in my book. Yeah. It's Goodbye, this podcast is over. Okay, see ya. <laughs> Amazing. What, wow, a what a shit podcast. podcast. What a terrible goddamn podcast that we have. <laughs>